Hey everybody, Brian Valenti, the C47, another episode of the Gearbox. I'm the new host here, and I'm what? What are you doing, bud? Uh, hey everybody, it's Jim. I'm at Red Rock Micro, last day of NAB. He's really the host. I'm not really the host. I really would like it if other people would host it, actually. That's a little uh, plan that we have, right, Giuseppe? Sure. Yeah, sure. Uh, so I'm here at Red Rock Micro, and there's been a lot of coverage, there's been a lot of buzz about certain products, and what I really wanted to do was go out on the floor and talk about the stuff that excited me. So we, we took a look at the Alexa camera, which is like a drool factor, uh, some of the other stuff out here, and for me, I've been using Red Rock Micro products for a long time. I got into 35 million lens adapters pretty early on, using them as a producer on shoots, renting them because they were so expensive. And then uh, Red Rock Micro came along and they came out with the M2, which was a completely affordable 35 mm lens adapter that could be used on virtually any fixed lens camera system out there, which really sort of took the, the whole idea of DV filmmaking to a completely different level. Because we've been talking about 24 frames per second for so long as that being the holy grail, but we're now really finding out with 35 million lens adapters and DSLR cameras that it's the lenses, it's the size of the sensor, it's the angle of view, it's the shallow depth of field or the selective focus. And so what I'm excited about is I currently use the M2 Encore as a 35 mm lens adapter, but there's a lot of pieces to that. And now we have this sucker right here, which uh, Brian has. This is called the M3. And this is a brand new 35 millimeter lens adapter. It's a unibody design. It has the flip module in here. Uh, it's incredibly well built in terms of the build quality. And it has this great new, I'm gonna have Brian come in and just talk about this mounting system, which looks great. Um, yeah. Stuff. So this is uh, what we call kind of our PL style mount system. We've reduced it down to a single piece that you actually screw into your camera. It's a native 72 millimeter mount. Of course, you can use step rings that just pops right into the back of it and you screw it down and we've just simplified the connection to the camera down to basically one piece for the adapter, one connection for the camera. That's great. Awesome. And then the back focus adjustment here in the front just like your other adapters? Right. Same system on the front here. We've got a collimating lens mount. Doesn't require you to open anything up. Three set screws. You can attach whatever lens mount you want. Nikon, Canon, uh, PL mount. And here we actually have the M3 with the live lens. I know, Jim, you use this in your systems today, right? Yeah, so I, I, um, I'm currently working with the EX1, and I'm using the M2 Encore, and I have the Zeiss CE lenses, which I'm using with the 5D Mark II and the 7D. Right. And uh, you know, the problem is that if you're using a 35 mm lens adapter with EF mount lenses, it, historically what you had to do is you had to actually carry a camera body with you if you wanted to change the aperture. Right. And so this solves that problem. So when we're using a 35 mm lens adapter, we can basically plug in and actually take take advantage of those electronics that are in the lens and actually change the aperture. Yeah, so I know you're like a lot of filmmakers out there, they've either taken the plunge for DSLRs and the Canon bodies or they're thinking about it, but maybe it's, uh, they're not quite ready for those trade-offs, they still have a video camera, they want to use a two camera system, but invest in one set of lenses. So the live lens, because it allows you to change the aperture in real time for Canon EF lenses, allow you to use it with an adapter and with your DSLR system, one set of lenses, both systems. And that's what's so important here is the fact that a lot of us are actually switching between two systems. You know, HD DSLRs in this version one, they're not the holy grail. They're not everything that you're gonna need on different projects. They have their pluses and they have their minuses. And so I'm finding that there are many, many times where I'm going back to a standard camera system. Canon, of course, announced a, a one third inch chip system right. at this show, which is a big deal. What happens if you want that selective focus, that shallow depth of field? You want to go in there and you want to use all of these film style lenses. Well, that's where a 35 mm lens adapter comes in. So I'm very excited about this. Um, it's extremely closed up. It looks like your rod support system is better. And now I don't have to go underneath the, underneath the adapter to get to the batteries because they're sitting right here, right? Right, so we did make a couple changes. Um, we realized that for the center of gravity for a lot of these rigs, it actually sits on the adapter itself. So we've actually added a really beefy rod clamp you can attach your tripod right here, and now you don't have to worry about balancing the system. Essentially, it comes out basically already balanced. So we move the battery door into under a rubberized uh, grip right on the side here. You can swap them out. Of course, they're rechargeable, so they're going to last for a long time anyways. But any need to access this, they're all right here, right under this rubber grip. Good. So availability on this, when? Summer? Summertime. Okay, good. 
and aggressively priced, as always, like Absolutely. Red Rock Micro. Absolutely. Okay, good. Now, the other thing I want to talk about, there is this redonkulous thing, by the way, called the Micro Remote, but you can go to Fresh DB and, you know, Matt and Kendall and those guys are covering all that stuff. This is the other thing that's really exciting uh, to me because obviously you need a follow focus system. If you're using an HD DSLR camera, if you're using a 35 millimeter lens adapter, this is version three of the micro follow focus. And um, we're talking about different types of lenses. I use the Olympus OM Zuko lenses a lot. Right, very small yep. lenses. And it looks like you may have solved the problem that I have with the micro follow focus version two which is that I have a really hard time using those lenses with a follow focus system. So how does that work? What have you guys done to that? Sure, so with the micro follow focus version two, maybe I'll just trade you here yep. real quick. Yeah, yeah, great. You know, it works with the vast majority of lenses, but you know, lenses like the 50 millimeter 1.8 or the Olympus lenses, they're just very, very short lenses, so it's tough to get that close to the camera body. So you can see we've slimmed up the design. It's about three quarters of an inch uh, uh, width before you start hitting the lens gear, so that really helps a lot. We also have the ability that you can actually remove this, turn it around, pop it down. Doesn't require any special tools other than a simple uh, uh, screwdriver, and you can actually reverse this lens gear in about a minute. A couple other features, you know, I know that you really like this uh, quick release, so you can pop the follow focus I on use and it off. All the time. It doesn't have to slide the matte box and everything else off. And we now have a beefed up uh, focus indicator. It's movable. You can tighten it down. And I know Jem has been asking about this for a long time. Uh, hard stops, so we can actually loosen these, pull them out, allows us to give us those hard stops, and then just bring them back up here, pull it up, we can park them. I've been asking for that, and I've been asking for this, and so um, that's really exciting. Because we're nothing but Jem's machine shop, let's just, face just, it. Just uh, basically a personal machine shop uh, for me, and, and Giuseppe, I guess. <laughs> what are you using, uh, so Giuseppe is using this little, I'm actually going to bring out my flip camera, because I want to just show these guys one other thing. and. I, while I'm doing that, what's the deal with the Halloween glow-in-the-dark feature with this? Yeah, so a new feature in our 3D marking disc is the ability to have inserts for glow-in-the-dark. Hopefully we'll get a chance to show it to you with a little bit light out here, but it will actually have this really nice uh, glow that you can use for night shooting. Okay, so I'm going to actually go ahead and just roll on the point-of-view camera here, and I'm going to go in, and I want you to just talk about this little thing that Giuseppe is pointing to. So that is our nano-focus zoom lever. You can see it's used with the standard Red Rock micro lens gear. It allows you to actually sort of reach up, grab, pull focus. You can put it on the zoom ring, pull zoom. It's a very inexpensive alternative if you either don't have a double rail system or you have a, a rig that has just a single rail or you don't necessarily want to invest in the price of something like a professional quality micro follow focus. Well, I could also see that working really well because I, I've seen some of your new nano series yeah. right. where you're not going into something like this, the event, which is what I use, and you don't have a rod support system, you know, a double rail type system. Right. And so you just need to have something that you can quickly, because, I mean, quite frankly, with HD, HD DSLR, when you're doing stuff, you sometimes need to, you know, change stuff. What? It's amazing. Because oh, it's amazing. Two fingers, you know, I thought we lost recording or something. Yes, but no, no, I'm fine. And yeah, so, so Giuseppe has been using, finger, you've been using a lot of stuff here at the show. Yeah. And uh, this is a simple design, it seems to work. Yeah, And you know, you don't, you, this is not a product for somebody when you need a focus puller. This is when you're running around, running gun style with, a, with an HD DSLR yeah, camera. Very inexpensive, and, very easy to use. Exactly. Um, and, and that's it, I guess. I mean, we got some, we, we, a lot of stuff. I'm going to put a lot of links here, Red Rock stuff. I've talked to you guys about it a million times. But this is really exciting. And I'll also send you links to uh, some stuff from Fresh DB about the micro remote, which is going to take uh, this thing right here and make it do magic things with the, uh, well, with your camera systems. Magic. Magic. All right, guys. So this is uh, Brian. I'm Jem. And I'll see you guys next time on Gearbox.